a storied and unique tradition at Mississippi State University is the ringing of the cowbells at home football games. However, they are not allowed at any away stadium and will be taken up if a person is caught with one. This tradition has been passed down from generation to generation. So just how did the ringing of the cowbells come about? I believe it was in the 20s, 30s, uh, the state Ole Miss were playing. The state was down uh, to Ole Miss. Uh, Local dairy farmer's cow walked on the field, bell around the neck, bell started ringing, inspired the state players, came back and beat Ole Miss. Boom, cowbell was born. In 1973, the SEC officially banned artificial noise makers from any SEC stadium. But just how exactly do the cowbells still make it in the stadium? Now on the story trying to get these cowbells since they were banned out of the stadium, there's a lot of techniques used. Personally, I just strap mine under the jean leg as to the back of your calf. But there's a lot of different stories on how you can get in and out with them. A lot of them you can't spread around. It would be illegal to talk about that. So we'll leave that subject alone. Well, they don't have to worry about that anymore because the SEC this past summer agreed to allow cowbells back in the stadium. And that has caused some excitement in Starkville. I think it really does wonders for our football team, and it takes them to a whole new level in their skills and their playing and stuff like that. And it's just making us who we are. So, love our cowbells. Go State. However, they are only supposed to ring them at certain times during the game. When MSU scores, uh, between plays and during halftime and before and after the game, we are not allowed to ring them while a play is being made on the field. And uh, that's pretty much all the rules that they gave us. As you can clearly hear and see, this policy is going to have a hard time working here in Starkville. Reporting from Davis Wade Stadium in Starkville, Mississippi, I'm Stephen Ray.